All right, so let's start working with the interaction of items now. Um, we have our little interactable sphere, and we named this off screen um, of video. I don't know what you say. And um, actually, to make this more concrete, let's uh, take uh, our interactable here and create a few more because we had some, um, some chairs in, in the beginning. Uh, and let's make a chair we can interact with. Let's take the static mesh and we have a chair here. And let's put it here. And let's take our interactable sphere and make it a little bit bigger. Like this. And compile and save. That's our chair. And um yeah, we have a let's have a door also. Door. Interactable. Whoop. Sorry. Where did it go? Where did you go? Did I delete it? I think I deleted it. Interactable door. So a door will obviously some, be something you can open. A sphere is something you may or may not can pick up. And a chair is something that you can sit in. So, um, yeah, different types of interactions. So let's say we have a door. Do we have a door? This way we do have a door. Static mesh door. And let's put this up a little bit. Swing around. Put this in the middle, kind of. And then scale up a little bit. Something like six, maybe. That's a little bit too big, maybe five. Okay, fine. That will work. So we can now actually put a, a door here and we can put a chair here like this and it will work just like the others. When you come near them they will highlight and also the same with the door. So that's pretty cool. It's a good beginning. Uh, still we can't interact with anything. Um, and uh, the idea, the basic idea about this, uh, if is if we come to the event graph of our character, we have this input interact that we created way in the beginning. And there are several ways you can think of this when you interact with something. Uh, but the easiest way I think I can describe this is that you always have something highlighted as just the thing that you want to interact with. So I want to tell this item that I want to interact with it. So um, that's the that's the way I kind of think about it. So whoop, so, sorry. Uh, let's get this in and say okay. So you as a, an interactable, I want to interact with you like this. Uh, since we don't have an interact uh, method on this, I need to create one and. Um, for, to begin with, let's just create this as a function because this contains a, have, poses a problem. Let's see. One thing we uh, could start out with was um, now the interact. Interactable itself is not is, is the base class, and that's not something that we you would put in to, inside the level. So what you would put inside the level would be, for example, a door. And uh, what you can do is to um, you can nope, not create a new function. Get away. Delete. You could overwrite this interact like this, and that would work pretty nice. Um, but I thought that uh, we could make this even better uh, because maybe sometimes when I interact with something could be a door um, I want to tell the door that, that I'm interacting with it it should open and maybe I want to tell the door to tell me something maybe I want it to t tell me that I'm locked and in that case I would do as a character something so I wanted to tell uh, com communicate in between the door and me and that kind of reminds me that, uh, of the same pr pr problem we had in the beginning uh, with the um, register interactable and unregister. 
So my idea is so that we can actually use an inter interface for this again. So we are able as a, as a character and in interactables to be able to pass different actions in between each other. So um, yeah, let's make an, a few uh, things here and let's see if this makes any sense. So for example, we want to be able to interact to begin with. And I need to remove the one I just made, otherwise it's going to be mad at me. Interact, why is it here? Delete, go away, compile. Yes, can I make it now? Mm -hmm. All right, so um, this is going to take a parameter and Let's call this because we, as a pair, uh, as a player, is going to be the instigator, the one that is acting with it. So we want maybe to have a uh, uh, reference to this. So let's say we uh, have an in, say, instigator, and this will be uh, of type um, actor, I think. All right. So this would be um, this would. Uh, probably work as um, our interact. Um, so let's say we can, we have something else. We could, for example, maybe you want to pick up something. Uh, new function. Um, pick up, and pick up is gonna be just like uh, just the same, uh, but maybe um, well the pickup. It's going to be something affecting the player, so we want to have a reference back with the, what we pick up. So let's say uh, we have um, an interactable, and it's going to be uh, an interactable. What? Okay, like this. And maybe we could have another function, something like um, open. Open, let's say open door. That's kind of specific. So, um, and what do we want to open? Well, it's something interactable. I'm not quite sure I need this, but let's see if this is going to pan out right. So, let's compile and save. Okay, and we have the door, and we have the interactable. Let's get a bit of that as well. And um, yeah. Well, getting back to the uh, interact event. So when we press the button, we want to interact. And um, we want to make a message call uh, interface. Register open. Where is it? Um, event. Uh, Nope. Interact. Where is it? Interact. Interface call. Is that the one? I am not sure. I think maybe, yeah, this is, yeah, it's, it does say a target is interactable. Okay, cool. So whenever I press this one, uh, I'll call this one. And our instigator is our self. So I right click and type self. And plug that into this one. So, let's go into one of our interactables. So let's say, for example, a chair. Let's take a chair. What do we want to do when we interact with a chair? So we implement the inter interact. Um, action, event, interact. I think that's not the right one. We want the event. This one. Yes, and it's coming from I interactable. You can see, and um, in this case, we actually don't need the. Oh, maybe we do. Actually, we are not going to do anything in this case. We want to um, just print for now because this is a demonstration. Uh, we just print out some messages. So uh, in this case, I will uh, print debug print uh, something like sit in the chair 
And um, because this is happening on the chair, we could, uh, because we have we are passing the instigator back, we could um, say, okay, you know, you instigator, uh, sit in chair. So we could have a. Let's make that actually. Uh, it's probably we, we we can't make it happen actually, but we can kind of illustrate what is going on. So um, because I need I would need a an animation for this and some more time I think. Anyway, uh, there we go. Um, I want to go into my uh, interface here. So I want to have something like a function called sit site. So, um, and maybe uh, this one will would tell me, okay, what am I going to sit in? Uh, Interactable, and it's going to be an interactable again, like this. All right, so compile and save, compile and save, go away. Um, Here. here we go. So you instigator sit message. So this is telling our uh, instigator to sit, and it's telling uh, us uh, we are telling it what to sit in. So we are giving uh, this in to this. So inside. So now uh, when we interact with the chair, we'll say sit in the chair. Okay, and uh, afterwards inside our player, we can then um, the player blueprint. Yeah, we can also implement this. Uh, we can implement this. Sit down uh, interface call. Nope, we don't want to make a call. We want to make an event. Uh, sit. 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 All right. So, um, and for now, because I don't have the proper animation and stuff, um, maybe I can do this in a later video. It could be actually quite funny. Um, I will just print a message saying, I'm sitting down in the and let's get the name of this interactable. Uh, you can plug if we do a glitch, append little function, and then say, oh, now it disappeared. Sitting down in, dragging this over here, and we'll pop in the display name. So I hope this makes sense because now uh, the chair is actually telling us to sit down. We uh, started by uh, interacting with it, and the chair said, "Okay, I um, I will tell you to sit down." So I'm passing. Whoops, something is not right. Something is up with the door. Interact. Oh, this one. Go away. We left this from before. So when I approach the the, the chair, I will press H, and it says sitting down up in interactable chair. As you can see in the in the corner up, I can't point. Uh, okay, I. No, I can't. Damn it. Okay. Anyway, I hope you see it the, with the blue text. Now you see it. Okay. And similarly, I can do something like here: open the door, and here I can say, "You are too heavy, my friend," or something. And I can maybe destroy it. Um, so it looks like it's uh, I'm putting this in my inventory. Let's do that actually. That's the last thing because then I think I'm gonna wrap this up. Okay. So um, if we have uh, if we are interacting with a ball or a sphere uh, here, get away with all this uh, event um, interact. Then we will just say. Um, Destroy. I can't type. Destroy actor. And well, that's it actually. Whoops. Sorry. Let's go over here. And whoop, 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 like that. We can pick up all the balls. Balls for the people. 
and I'm gonna sit down. Hope this, uh, oops. Ooh, get sent off mass. Oh, that's not good. Um, seems I'm leaving something behind. That's for another time. <laughs> I will take a look at that. Anyway, I think this kind of demonstrates uh, how this would work. And um, in one of my other projects, um, I have shown also how to uh, pick up, for example, a weapon. Uh, but I haven't really shown how that works. So this may come in another or later tutorial. I hope this was helpful. And if you like it, please... Uh, Hit the like button and subscribe if you are interested in more updates coming from me. So for now, bye and take care.